All right, everybody, we are back. My first guest is one of the most beautiful women in the world, straight from the pages of Victoria's Secret. Please welcome Giselle Bunchen. Thank you very much. I was told you were, you look fantastic, by the way, but you hear that all the time. You're no. Saying, really? But first of all, before I do anything, I have to give you a little present. Yeah, all right. You were chosen by Victoria's Secret and all of us, of course. One of the sexiest dads in America. So, oh, um, look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it cute? What is this? Look at the little boxes for you. Yes, I'm yes. Are these boxers whatever. that you've owned or touched or something or in any way? Are they, are they, um, I, I touched them. I, I actually helped them put them in there, but I never wore you them. You did the framing. Time. Yeah, that's a yes. good use of Giselle's time. Yeah, that's very good. This is very I, nice. I how, how did I get this award? What qualities do I have? Um, that, uh, let's talk more about me and being sexy. Exactly. That should be the focus of the conversation. I agree. Thank because you. Because you are very sexy. Uh, what is it that makes me sexy? What I is think, it? I think sexy is something that comes from the inside, I think. And I think you are very funny. You have an amazing sense of humor. And I find that the most important thing in a man. So. Really? But take away that. I don't like the whole inner quality thing. <laughs> take away all that and just look at the man. What do you think of the man and what's sexy about the man? Um... <laughs> no, it is the hair. I know what, I know what, I know what. Uh, the hair. The hair, the hair. Ah. How long does it take to do this amazing head? I can't hear anything you're saying when you do that. <laughs> How does it tell? That, there's no time at all. When I wake up in the morning, it's like that. I have a, like a jello mold, I it put just it in. It comes out like a And look, it always goes right back. That's a good move. That's a good move. And look, it's good when I turn around, too. Like, commercials I'm worth it yeah if you, you know could speak I mean? up for me I would be an excellent uh, male model I I'll, I'll try I'll try I don't think you know this we actually kind of met once once about I'm gonna say it's about a year and a half ago I was doing business in LA mm -hmm. and I was with our head writer and we got on the plane to come back and it was one of those nighttime flights that goes you know yes, through the night the I red eye and um, I'm sitting there and it's the kind of seat that you sit in where you can put it back all the way and it pretty much turns into a bed and there was a seat next to me and it was empty and we were waiting for people to get on the plane and I was saying to the head writer I don't know who this is gonna be with my luck it's gonna be <laughs> some big fat guy or something no offense to fat guys but uh, you know and then uh, just then just as I said that you walk on the plane and you sit down next to me and you put your you said oh hello how are you and you put your seat back all the way and I thought this is I couldn't believe it the most beautiful woman in the world is going to be sleeping with me on this flight <laughs> and what you did is you put on your headphones to listen to music and you took your blanket and put it over your head <laughs> and went right to sleep yeah. and for the whole flight if you had just taken the blanket down you'd have seen me <laughs> right there that's this is what you missed out on, Giselle. Oh, for a whole six-hour flight, me going like that. Maybe I shouldn't sleep in flies then. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. So no, actually, that's what I do every time when I get on the plane. I just that's the only time I get to sleep. You, 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 yeah, that's the only time you sleep. So you put a blanket over your head? Yes, because I mean, I had times in my life where people came like all the time, like, hey. Hey, after I had my headphones, I did that for talking? a while, and you just ignored me. I was like, "Hey, I actually had a stick, and I was poking you for a while." <laughs> I didn't feel it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh well, you know, it wasn't. You were gentle. You were gentle then. Yes, I was. Um, <laughs> now, uh, I want to ask you about your home country, Brazil. It's the best country in the world. It's the best country in the yes. world. I, I have to say, so. there's one thing I I don't know. I was in Brazil once when I was uh, very young, but I don't have good. I'm very pale, so they keep me under an umbrella the whole time. <laughs> um, uh, but, but in Brazil, when I see all the footage, it seems like people, the women are wearing bikinis all the time. Is that true in Brazil? Like, not just on the beach, but you go to a bank and the teller's in a bikini. <laughs> is that true? Uh, bikinis uh, all the time? No, no, that's not true, actually. Because Brazil is a country that is hot most of the time during the whole year, pretty much like 10 months out of the year, we right. have, like, amazing weather. So people do wear less clothes and they're very comfortable with, this, with their sexuality. And um, so, yeah, they wear bathing suits a lot, but not in the, in the bank, no. I mean, in the beach, you know, and, and stuff like that. There's some hot women in Brazil. Yes, there are. Yes. And uh, 
But and, and 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 it's good that they're very comfortable. Do you find that the, in America we're uptight about our bodies? I know I'm uptight about my body, but I have reason to be. No, um, come on. True no. story. You don't want to see what's going on. Um, <laughs> Well, okay, if you insist. Uh, <laughs> no, but, but, but do you find that in America they're more uptight about their bodies? I think, I think you know, every country is, is very different. Like, I got to travel a lot and see a lot of different countries and people act very different. And I think in Brazil especially, it's just because of the weather, I think, really. I don't think it, anything else. I think right. it's just really hot and people are very comfortable with themselves and they just like to right. feel free. You right. Know? I like it. I like yeah, it a lot. It's, it's very nice. If I, I was a man, I would like that. Too. I want <laughs> I want, to, uh, I want to ask you about uh, my hometown, Boston. You went to Boston not too long ago. Was your hometown? Yeah, and you went to a Red Sox game, and you threw out the first pitch. What yes. was that like? I did a home run with my troll. I didn't... <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's very hard to do, Giselle. No, I know. It's really? Amazing. Wow. I should be higher. I should yeah. change business. No, actually, I was A home run, terrible. meaning you threw it too far? Yes, because I was so, like, I have never watched a baseball game in my entire life. I have no idea anything about baseball. It seems very confused to me that all those people are running around. I mean, I don't well, know where they're going. they're not going like, going. Well, they're, they're, what? Well, actually, on some Red Sox do I run around like that. I don't that. know where they're going. This I mean, seriously. So right. I got there, and the guy was like, okay, you have to throw. No matter what you do, do not throw to the ground, because that's terrible. That's considered bad if you don't make it to the, to the, the guy, guy catching. Then yeah. you're like a weak person. I was like, no way, I'm not weak. So I have to like concentrate so when I got there it was like 48 it was so cold I was like uh. and then I got the ball and I was like okay can I throw it should I throw it like so if I throw it too light it's gonna be disgusting no right, so right. I had to throw it really tall and then the guy couldn't catch it he stretched it almost you threw it over his head yes it threw, that's why I said I hit the home run it was outside <laughs> <laughs> then you ran around the bases and uh... I actually didn't run I just said I just stand there like frozen like oh take me out of here I'm freezing did you watch the game then no, I didn't because I don't understand. Oh, you don't understand it. That no. must have looked good when you threw out the pitch, waved, everybody got up and left. <laughs> yeah, I had a hot dog before I leave, though, because they have amazing hot dogs in that, in that stadium. They I have, have good say. hot dogs. Yes. Yeah. What is the name of the hot dog again? There is, uh, that they, Fenway Franks. Yes, this one. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. I think, yeah. Do we going to get money for Fenway Franks now? <laughs> we should get money for that. You should get a piece of money for 20 that. 20% for me, 20% for you. Wait, how much do I and get? We, the, the it's my show. I should get them. more. Yeah, we'll cut them in, too. Okay. okay that'll make them happy. <laughs> Yeah, just try collecting that, too. Okay. <laughs> um, and you're getting into the, uh, the acting business, I understand. You're going to be in a movie? Um, I am going to be in a movie. Actually, this comes out in October. I am not an actress, though. I'm, um, I've been in my business for 10 years, so mm -hmm. to me, it was like a fun thing. They offered me the role. I was like, it, you know, it might be fun, something different right. to do. So I'm going to wait and see how it goes, if I like myself. If I, if I don't think I'm good, you know, then I won't let you, all of you go through so much pain of seeing me again on the screen. So I will give you a That's chance to That's very nice of you, though, one. to say that you're, so you're able to watch yourself and, 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 think, and be critical. You're allowed to... I'm a very critical person, right. I, especially of myself. I'm very critical with myself. So, yes, if I don't like it, then you won't have to see me again. So don't worry. You won't have to, like, go <laughs> over there and, like, oh, get out of the screen. You know, sometimes there's, like, actors who are like, oh, if my God. If only Amer out. more Americans thought that way, that would be a good thing. <laughs> they don't feel that way. I don't I don't have that. I'm not, I don't have that ability. I see myself at night and I go, he's so pretty. <laughs> Isn't he pretty? You but do that's a great me. job, though. Um, listen, I want to thank you very much for being here. Thank I also you. want to thank you very much for my uh, Sexy Dad Award. That was very nice of you oh, to welcome. bring that. Best of luck. Please thank come you. back. Thank Giselle Bunchen, everybody. Jesse James coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.